I will endeavour to explain to you in a few words how the Maltese political crisis grew. Just before a general election that was due to take place in May, the Maltese bishops declared that it was a mortal sin to vote for the constitutional party of which I am the leader or for the Maltese Labour Party that has been cooperating with me as head of the ministry in the Maltese Parliament. At present, the island is administered by the governor with the advice of ministers when desired. We can wait until a change of regime at the Vatican may make a free election possible in Malta. There have been three plots and one attempt to assassinate me. With British statesmen, these threats are not likely to achieve their object. Today in Malta, the friends of England are more numerous than before, and at home the imperial government is less likely to be hoodwinked. I wish good luck to all here and overseas and prosperity to the dominions under the British flag. Good day to you.